guys. Had a stop sniffing my plants. My dog needs to sniff my plants. Hi. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a few things today. Um sorry. <laughs> Got interrupted by an unknown phone call. Okay, gonna be doing a few things today. I'm going to show you some of my plant mail I got today. Also, look, these are the flowers from my calla lily. Aren't they beautiful? Love them. They fell off, so they are now adorning my hair. Okay. So, I got some plant mail today from a shop I ordered off of Etsy. Super stoked about it. Um, been waiting on it for a few weeks now. Also, though, I have to tell you a story. Okay, so, you know, I work for the census. I've been saying that in all my videos. Um, so, today, I had to go to this lady's house. Uh, sometimes we need what's called a proxy. So, it's just, like, someone to help us. Uh count how many people live in like their neighbor's house or whatever so I had to go to this lady as a proxy and uh I'd seen that I don't know I always just like to build good rapport with people because nobody likes to have random people like knocking on their door that they don't know so she had these beautiful plants she had beautiful ferns and begonias and she had a variegated Hoya Hindu ropes. I told her I loved your plants and she said, oh yeah, I had a girl come yesterday, a delivery girl came yesterday and she complimented my plants too. So I gave her some cuttings of my begonia. I was like, oh, wow, that's so nice. And so, and then I was like, well, I really love this one, your Hoya Hindu rope. I don't even know if she knew what it was. Uh, she said she got it like five years ago at Lowe's for four bucks. Anyways, guys, she gave me cuttings. Not only did she help me complete my case, because she did help me complete my case, she also gave me cuttings, gave these to me. It was so nice. So yes, I got this butterfly begonia now. Look, I mean, it's already rooted in everything. Like she already had cuttings rooted. And then she just went in and got some scissors and snipped me off a chunk of her variegated like guys i've been looking at this plant since i started loving house plants and i want it but it's too expensive so wow and look at this substantial cutting like i can get an entire full plant with this uh so some of it is a little rough I mean, like it's got pieces falling off of it right now and it definitely needs a good cleaning it's been a little neglected it was a hers was so long um but that's okay because that means i won't feel too bad about cutting some of the look at this pink variegation i won't feel too bad about cutting some of the leaves off to expose some nodes because i always hate doing that so there look at it can you guys believe this I seriously can't even believe it. And it was so nice because a few people were mean to me today. One guy told me, he said, we sent, uh, we filled out our census uh, and sent it in the mail months ago. You're a fraud. You're not real. He didn't think that I was real. I said, well, I have a badge and everything. He thought I was a fraud. Anyways, and then, um, uh, somebody else said they didn't trust me so it was a it was a rough day today and then I met this lady that just gave me cuttings of her plants Bless. Bless. okay anyways now to this ordered this from Florida let's see the shop's name let me look it up because I want to tell you in the video I'll get to Okay, it's from Florida, no, Florida Plants Gardens is the name of the shop on Etsy. Hang on, I need some scissors. Okay, so scissors. Okay, guys, I cannot believe that that lady gave me those plant cuttings like that. It just makes me so happy. She, her 
husband is a pastor, she told me, and uh, she said that the plants were God's plants, not hers. So that's why she was like, of course I can give you some, they're God's plants. I'm not religious, but I'm, like, very supportive of religious people as long as they don't, like, force it on me. And I just, I really think it's sweet and precious when people are, like, genuinely religious. Like, in my opinion, the sign of that is, like, just if they're kind of people, basically. So, um, in my opinion, she was, like, a true Christian. And I really, although I'm not religious, I really appreciate that in people. Um... Yeah, so just amazing. Like, I told her she literally made, like, my entire week. Okay. Ugh, this is hard. That's good, though. That means it's well packaged. So, we are almost finished here with our census work um, where I live. South of Nashville. Um, so... Okay, I know I showed you this before. Um, I don't know if I have my address on it though, so I'm gonna show you. Um, anyways, we we are like 98% finished in my zone, so now they're looking for people to travel to out of state and across the state and stuff, and I can't really do that because I'm not always well. And so I just don't feel comfortable committing to that. But, um, wow, this is so interestingly packaged in a way I've never seen before. Okay, thank that. thanks Val for making sure my plants are good. If you want to buy from a shop that's gonna sh It's two boxes, that's why. Now I see. Now I get it. Okay. So yeah, I might not be working anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to throw up. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is even like real. Okay, this is Miranda Red. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Obviously, I've like developed a serious obsession with prayer plants. Like they are my absolute favorite. Like I cannot get over the beauty of them. And I feel like they are just nature's work of art. I mean, all of nature is a work of art, but na Mother Nature just really just went above and beyond with these prayer plants guys like they are freaking believable like seriously i don't even believe they're real when i look at them all that. making a mess of me get my little oh. okay, here great plant. Look at her. Oh my gosh, I bet she's so happy to see light. Oh. Wow. See, this is a work of art. Like, really? Wow. Wow. Just wow. Oh, I'm getting soil all over my ottoman. Woo. Okay, and let's see what else is in here. I think that this Marietha was 
pretty sure. Look at her cute little leaf. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> Come open, come open. Beautiful little baby. Not you, Pat. You're a beautiful little baby, too. Come say hi. Come here, she is. Tisha. This is my beautiful baby. My beautiful baby. Pat, I say hi. Come here. Come say hi. Don't say hi right here. Right here. No, look. Right here. Right here. She's not good with screens. She can't look at them. I don't know why. But you know what she is? She's so photogenic. She's like the most photogenic dog ever. And I have another super photogenic dog, so that's really saying something. Look at my, look at my uh, fur babies. They're photo Actually, all three of them. My daughter has a cat who's been featured on here before, and she's very photogenic, too. What we got? three beautiful photogenic fur babies. She just always needs to give my plants a sniff down. She, thankfully they've not tried to eat them. Sometimes they try to eat my outdoor plants. So I'm, I'm much more okay with that than them trying to eat my indoor plants. Sometimes she'd be, <gasps> oops, I lost a leaf, that's okay. Sometimes she'd be taking a bite out of my lemongrass outside. <laughs> Okay, I lost the leaf. Look, you can tell what it is by the leaf. What is it? A philodendron Brazil. Oh my goodness. Look at this precious little baby. Like, they're small plants, but they have so much foliage on them. And they're so healthy and cute. Let's start some that. Oh, that's the area over you. Look, guys, that is so cute. Oh my goodness. Look. I love it. I've had my eye on this plant too since I started my houseplant journey. Because, look at that. That is so pretty. This seems to have brought it off. I need to check the roots of this baby. Make sure they're not squishy. Anyways, I went, so I, Brazil holds a special place in my heart because I travel a lot. And the first place I ever traveled out of the country was to Brazil. And I spent five weeks in Brazil. And it, it, I've been to at least 15 countries outside of the U.S. at this point, And Brazil is still my favorite. So, it holds a very special place in my heart. So, like, from the moment I saw this plant, I was like, the philodendron in Brazil. Oh, my gosh. It just looks like Brazil. And I just needed to have it. Just so looks like something that would be in Brazil. So yeah, really happy to have that. All right, let's open this one. Yeah, so when I was in Rio, well, so I went to Brazil. I spent four weeks in Rio de Janeiro. And uh, as me and my friend Zach like to say, Rio de Janeiro. Because we're stupid. And I met one of my best friends, Zach, in Brazil. Um, but he's from the same place I'm from. We just travel to Brazil together to study um and uh, yeah so four weeks in Rio and then a week in Parachi which is a little colonial village uh, 
north. North? Yeah. I think it's north of Rio. Maybe that's wrong. It might be south. Ugh. Anyways, uh, so I studied for three weeks there. And then, look. It's the syngonium. It's the white butterfly. Like there's not a pecking slip in here. Anyways, the white butterfly syngonium. Um, so yeah, for three weeks I studied um, Introduction to Sociology, which is a wonderful way to study sociology, guys. Uh, and this was through my community college. Um, and then after my class was finished, all of my friends in the study abroad program left and came back to the U.S. and I stayed there and went and did some environmental volunteer work um, with an organization called Ico Paran and I uh, worked in the National Forest, Tijuca National Forest, and helped um, construct trails and things of that nature and clean them up and stuff. So that was a lot of fun and really just like sounds so cliche but it was a life-changing experience for me especially because so I got a scholarship to do that and um through my college and as a requirement for that scholarship I had to uh look at this beautiful baby as a requirement for that scholarship I had to do a few things so I had to go Talk to the advisor of study abroad at my community college, who was a new advisor, um, as opposed to, look, it's so healthy and beautiful, and the leaves are a little folded, but that's okay, they'll, they'll unfurl with time, and I'm going to have to repot these babies soon, and they're the soil's really moist, like almost concerningly moist but the roots are poking out of this and they're fine. They're not mushy or anything. Anyway, so yeah, I had to, as a requirement for my scholarship that I got, I had to go meet with the director of international education at my community college, the new one, not the one that helped me go to Brazil, but a new one. And um, now we're married. <laughs> That's my husband. He still does it. Look, all right, so this is my plant haul, guys. I got a philodendron Brazil, Marantha red, prayer plant, and a syngonium white butterfly. So for all three of these plants, it was $30, like shipping and everything. Really great deal. Um, I originally went to the shop for the Marantha red, um, and then I found this great deal where you got these two uh, for 15 bucks, I think or 10 bucks I can't remember uh, but I, I do remember it was $30 for all of these so yeah that's like a great steal to me and they all came really healthy so I'm really happy with this purchase and like plant mail is my new favorite thing ever uh so yeah my plant haul today including my little cuttings <sighs> okay yes yeah, so I gotta clean this baby up. Let's see if you can see. She's got some spider webs and some dirt. So I gotta clean her up and um, give her some good snippings. I already got an exposed node right there. Not tearing this leaf off because it's the most variegated and it's healthy. So I'm just gonna stick this node in there and I'm gonna get a few cuttings from this. Um, so yeah, by the time everything roots, like I'm gonna have a full plant from this lady. Isn't that so awesome? 